Normally, only with head movement does fluid within the inner ear also move, informing the brain that a head turn occurred. However, should a crystal called an otolith gets displaced into the lateral or horizontal canal of the inner ear, BPPV dizziness occurs. Fluid movement occurs due to the crystal rather than head turns causing the brain to think movement has occurred even though none has happened. The Lempert or barbecue maneuver is performed to treat this lateral canal BPPV by trying to get the loose crystal out of the canal. This maneuver is started by turning the head 90 degrees while the body is laid back. If BPP is present, side-to-side -side eye twitching called nystagmus will occur. After 30 to 60 seconds, the head is then turned such that one is facing down and this position is again held for 30 to 60 seconds. The head is then further rotated another 90 degrees. When performing this maneuver, another individual can help with these position changes. Finally, the Lempert maneuver is completed by rolling the head and body back to the original starting position before sitting back up. At this point, the loose crystal should have come out of the canal causing no further problems. So what's going on with these position changes? Essentially, the head is moved in such a way to manipulate the crystal to fall towards the canal opening. With each position changes, it takes about 30 to 60 seconds for the crystal to settle into the most dependent position in the canal. If turns are made before the crystal has a chance to settle, the crystal may fall back the wrong way and the maneuver will fail to work. It is also important that each of the head positions are fully turned or else the crystal will not settle to the correct position in the canal and the maneuver will fail. Also, if the position changes are done too slowly, the crystal may not settle quickly enough from lack of momentum and the maneuver will fail. Once the crystal falls out of the canal, the dizziness should resolve if due to lateral canal BPPV.